Unfortunately, in my neighboring state of India, the once secular country as a home for all its communities is transforming into a Hindu supremacist state at the expense of its Muslim and Christian communities. Mr. President, the RSS hate-filled Hindutva ideology has unleashed a reign of fear and violence against India's 200 million strong Muslim minority, the largest minority in the world. This includes mob lynchings by cow vigilantes, frequent pogroms such as New Delhi in 2020 and Gujarat in 2002, discriminatory citizenship laws to purge India of Muslims, demolishing of homes and shops of Muslim communities under state patronage, storming of mosques by charged mobs, disinformation campaigns against Islam and Muslims on social media bans on hijab, incitement to hatred and violence against Muslims in the political discourse, and a campaign to destroy mosques across India and obliterate its Muslim heritage and history, and increasingly frequent public calls for genocide against Muslims. Not only Muslims in the Indian homeland, but the only Muslim-majority area in the region under their control, illegally, Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, the occupying forces pursue a policy in a, to attempt to transform the Muslim uh, majority into a minority in their homeland. And Mr. President, to all this, what is the response of the international community? The global community is sleepwalking through such blatant and widespread discrimination. Pakistan calls on the international community to hold the RSS Hindu supremacist government to account for its overt espousal of an anti-Muslim, anti-Islam agenda. We urge the Secretary General to urgently convene a global dialogue on countering Islamophobia, particularly Islamophobia as a state policy. We also call on the United Nations to formulate an action plan to combat Islamophobia and call out all such discrimination in consultation with member states.